They'll be calling you a radical before I go on this rant today and go off on a lot of different issues. First off, we have breaking news out of TEPCO out of Japan this morning. And why is this big news? This is the third one now that we've had in just the last month on confirming raising levels. I don't know how anybody can go in denial. This is fission going on. How can anybody think that this is not vision? How are we in this epic denial? Before I go on this rant, talk about first off, I did my videos of Michael Hastings. I am absolutely heartbroken over Michael Hastings' death. I am heartbroken. He was my favorite journalist of all time. He was my favorite. I think this needs to be said absolutely clear as I go on my Fukushima rant today. Michael Hastings, this is very clear, never broke one single law. Not under the Patriot Act, not in any law. Not, not, he did not break one single law. He didn't violate anything, yet the FBI was going after him. That is the definition of fascism. Military total power, that is the definition. And Megan Rice being in a prison cell for a peaceful activist, this is pure fascism. As back to Fukushima, this is big, big news. Is, is It's coming out. This is TEPCO in their wells increasing. This is the third one now. This is new out this morning. And I want to talk about, first off, my trip to San Diego. I'll be there, it looks like the 15th of July now. We delayed it. 15th or 16th as I will be landing in San Diego. Be there for San Fernando. I'm hoping to get some interviews. I'm working on this, get some interviews on the sea pups and the pelicans and everything that's going on down there is, you know, I'm trying to get in with some of the marine biologists, well, not the marine biologists, the people that see world and people, the marine biologists, they've got, we know that black ball. Again, more fascism. But I want to talk about I want to ask before I go on this one. Right now, I want to ask every single one of you, as I know a lot of the anti-nuclear advocates, the old establishment, watch these videos. I want to ask every single one of you something. Just answer in English. Use your fake name if you're afraid. Use your real name. Use. Go ahead and use your name. And I want to ask you this: What have you accomplished in 30, 40 years? I've been in this fight the whole time. Everybody says, "Oh, what have you accomplished, Kevin?" Huh? I, I will defer to Joni Ray in our video at the songs radio thing. I've been in the songs fight for a long, long time as we got it shut down. We went over to the parking lot. We filmed the dog and pony show so everybody could see it. When I flew down there and I was in there, I want people to understand my form of leukemia that I have. As I would have quit this vlog a long time ago, I would have gave up this vlog. Obviously, my PhD, you know, it was done if I didn't have cancer. As I got the first test on the 6th, the day that song said it was over, that saying that the cancer is not showing up. But I know this is only half the battle. And as my cancer psychologist told me yesterday, Kevin, I want to quit. I have quit. I would have quit. I'm burned out. I'm tired. I mean, this has been so intense. As you guys know, this has been ruthless. I've done this on a shoestring and a prayer with no money, everything. I, I was wiped out when I got leukemia. And you quit, you die. I know that. If I quit, I die. I want. It's half the story that it's described in my body. I have a rare form of AML leukemia. It's called Genuval OS. There are myeloid sarcomas that formed in my body, which it's a blessing and a curse. For some reason, in certain people, the leukemia will push out of the bone marrow and present in tumors. Well, what happens? It always gets misdiagnosed. They have the surgery and they die. They automatically bone marrow transplant. I'm one of the first patients in the in America ever to not to go through this treatment. I turned down the bone marrow transplant, which bone marrow transplants work. Now, because I had clean enough bone marrow that I could take this chance on this new treatment, I'm one of the first people to ever do it. And I'm in a three-year program. I know me getting a clean thing. My platelets when I was in California were in the 30s. You know, you know they should be 300. I mean, I had permission for my daughter to do what I did. But Joni Ray and I stayed up all night and mixed those videos, which I should I have done that? Hell no. But I knew it was that important for me to do that. I remember she got up in the morning. She says, I had a dream. She says, oh, my God. I'm going to be the one that kills Kevin Blanche. It almost killed me. I got home. I was very sick. You know, it knocked me down again. But it was that important to me. Now, why have I not been in the fight? And what have I, I have been in the fight the whole time. But the establishment here in Utah is this was ground zero. They make me sick. They make me. I will give Carol Gallagher a pass because I love her because she still have fought for my. But the rest of them, they won't let me on PBS. PBS used to do great work here. You know, KUD. They won't even talk to me. I'm too radical, whatever. So they put themselves in these ivory towers and they talk like this because it's a club. I went to a, I went to a show post Fukushima in a 
nuclear museum, they claim. It's pathetic, it's pathetic. All these pretty pictures of old mushroom clouds. Oh, look at all this work we've done. And you know, it's a club, they're serving cheese balls. I'm like, do you do know Fukushima, the greatest nuclear catastrophe in the history of mankind is ongoing, and you're serving cheese balls? Really? I says, you do understand that it synergizes in mammals and milk is the worst possible thing that you can put in your any dairy. It's ongoing right now, and it doesn't just synergize inside that mammal and come in those four-legged milk four times a day with chemical freaking grotesqueness a day. It does it in two-legged animals also, these two-legged mammals, these two-legged beer drinking, soft, now we talk like this, sit up there, and go sell another book. Really, I wanna ask you this, every one of you, in those comments here, please comment, please. Please comment here, please. What have you accomplished in 30, 40 years? The hypocrite apparatus, the whole so-called energy fighters, as Barack Obama's getting ready to give his speech right now, he's probably giving it right now as I'm speaking. My capital, look, we should have cap and traded coal 40 years ago. The technology is available to get rid of 99% of all coal emissions. That should have been done 40 years ago. And you people that support, oh God, free marketplace, free market, you get people that, let me say this to you people. You're willing to sacrifice your life not to clean up this environment, to give profit to BP, to Duke Energy, so their CEOs can buy, buy another yacht. You're willing to sacrifice your chill, child's life, your wife, go for it, go for it. But that spills over to people like me. As people say, who are you fighting for? What are you up to, Kevin? Look, like Audie Murphy, when he came back from the war and they wanted to decorate and win all those medals. He says, I wasn't fighting for any flag. I was fighting for my mom and dad's farm. I have kids, I have grandkids. My dad died of this evil disease. I almost died of this disease. Do you, want my, do you think I want my kids and my grandkids to have to go through what I've gone through? Hell no, hell no. The establishment in Utah, they read the play last night of Rhodes, you know, on Gorbachev and Reagan. And I can go into a whole speech on that thesis. Gorbachev was an amazing humanitarian. By the way, his wife died, and a lot of people don't want to talk about this, of leukemia. Reza died of leukemia. He was, but Reagan and the dog and pony, and I'm a huge fan of Rhodes. He, I love him, I love him. But Utah, they won't even invite me. They won't allow me to speak on their PBS. As Jack Dresser gave me the platform up in Oregon, he allowed me to. They won't let me here, because I'm too radical, so they pushed me to the side, they've marginalized me. You know, just, I sat right here with Edward Abbey. They marginalized him, did the same thing. Now they want to, they're pathetic. You make me sick. You make me sick. You're mass. We're the cancer capital of the world right here. Right there. The number one, the number one nursing school in the world right there. They saved my life. Those girls, as I was reading through my journal the other day when I was in the hospital in critical condition, I was slipping in and out of a coma on 11, 18, 11. These two, these nurses from right here, they sat with me, tickled my hand, they sat with me all night. Because I had this dream that night, all night, I kept going through, I, I mean, it was horrible, horrible night. I was fighting 30, use, 30 car salesmen, 30 salesmen in the old dog demo all night. I just fought them all night. In my mind, I was going, I slipped my vital for, I mean, I was ready to die. I was going in and out. They were keeping me alive with machines. And the next morning, I, when I finally, the sweat broke a little bit, the nurse came up and gave me the first car. And I opened it up and I was just reading this. And it was a couple from New Jersey. And I remember when I read it, it, it empowered me and made me feel so good. That love, my vitals went up. All these cards and these people that have supported me, the prayers that were said on beaches, in temples, in churches, in people's private homes, all over, they saved my life. The love that was spent to me, they saved my life. As I'm fighting with intensity and passion because not only have you not accomplished one thing, you went backwards. The, Nevada, the site's right out here, and I'll prove it to you. Right here, when they brought the song generator, I put calls all over to the so-called anti-nuclear establishment, which your phony piece of shit, go sell another book down at the University of Utah. Stegner would spit in every one of your faces. I went out there, me and a 78-year-old woman going to the show. It was lit up like a Christmas tree. The apparatus of Megan Rice being sitting in that prison cell. You don't even know who Megan Rice is. The greatest human rights activist of our time, 83-year-old nun. That's fascism. That peaceful protester trying to save you and your children's lives. Remember this in the Obama speech. Gina McCarthy's head of the EPA. She was head of RADNET when it magically didn't work. Or fascism. We spent billions. The new energy secretary, pure nuclear, 100. Nuclear is not the answer. Cleaning up coal, 90. Oh, yeah. Yeah, just like Germany did, 99% of coal can be totally cleaned up. Solar, 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 solar. 
Dr. Abrams says it all. He's brilliant on this. Solar, we've always had it. The technology, the knock on solar's always been it won't store the energy when the sun's down in the Northwest Hanford. That technology was overcome a long, long time ago. We spent so many billions of dollars promoting this filthy mass murdering of nuclear. And the establishment, the, the hypocrites, you so-called environmentalists, all you people who grandstand whatever, go sell another book. I will give Carol Gallagher a pass. She's the greatest of all time, and I love her. And she gets a pass for me on everything, no matter what, because she stood up for my father when she wrote America Grant. I love her, by the way. I absolutely adore everything about her because she stood up for my father and the atomic veterans when I would go on these rants and go crazy. And the Utah anti-nuclear savage, which is ground zero, they blackballed me. They didn't, I mean, you'd think a person like me with all this knowledge is Dr. Burroughs right here, the old doctor says, Kevin, he's told me this over and over. He's 93 years old, he's a genius. He says, he watches my videos and he's like, Kevin, you would eat their arms up. You scare them because you tell the truth. You forgot more on your little finger than the entire establishment. You, you will destroy them. You will blow up their freaking ivory tower because they're not about trying to save anyone's lives. They're about self-promotion. They're about freaking writing another book. Mm -hmm. They're about their job, their shitty ivory tower. That, what do they make, 50 grand a year? That's an ivory tower? They think it is. It's pathetic. He says, you forgot more on your little finger than all of them combined will ever know. And that was before you got cancer. My knowledge saved my own life, by the way, but as, answer me, please, please, every one of you, please just answer me this. As, how can you call yourself an anti and you're gonna say, you don't even have discussions about Fukushima and fission, you don't even know what fission is. You, you can't have a discussion about the dump site of energy solutions being bankrupt and under indictment. These are the people storing it. Hot waste leaks when they're not even supposed to have hot waste out there. In the why moxie fuels. We don't even know where freaking out there be my house with a secret plan is where they moxie it. I've always known they just chase me out of there with a helicopter when I was a kid. You know, but they won't let me speak. You know, our PBS here at the University of Utah used to be a really a platform, Mary Dixon. <laughs> they hate me. They hate me because answer me, what have you accomplished in 30 years? You can't say zero. You went backwards. You went backwards. This news out of Fukushima, this is three in a row now. Bang, 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 bang. You tell me, is this fission? You tell me, oh, we're gonna put a sealant down. 838 days later, we're gonna put a sealant, a chemical sealant to block it going in the ocean, really? <laughs> it, I mean, if it wasn't so sad, you really would laugh. Answer me this, please. Anyone up, please, please, please comment. Use your fake name because you're afraid to use your name. I use my real name. I'll give you my phone number. Call me up, please. As you blackballed me, know this. We're the cancer capital of the world in Utah. Of the world. Young women dying left and we had six die in that freaking unit in the best unit in the world. We've had six die just for all girls. Young. You people that call yourself the anti-nuclear savage, they, they didn't even invite me to his reading last night, which I find it beyond appalling. You're the problem. You're killing these people with your soft passing ivory tower. Go sell another fucking book.